Hiro san. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. What a great day in the studio. Yes, yes. Always love to see a box, but this is a very, very special box. Inside of the box, I have my sushi kit. Finally, finally, your sushi kit, something you've been waiting and working on for a long time. Hiro san, let's open it up. Sure. All right, take a look at this. It says Tarada, right? That's、yes. what it says. And what does it say up here? Tarada. Sushi Kitto. Sushi Kitto. Okay.、Mm -hmm. Sushi rice. Soy sauce dish. Wasabi. Sushi vinegar. Sushi ginger. Soy sauce. s r a c h a and mayonnaise. Makisu. Chopstick. Yaki sushi nori. I have a sticker. Instruction Master Sushi Chef Home Guide. Yes, look at this. A personally signed piece of salmon n i g i r i We were in St. Petersburg several、yeah. weeks ago. Take a look at what happened there. All right, here is done signing all these salmon n i g i r i He's got one left and a very special marker. The rest of these are all signed in silver. The next one he's doing is going to be in gold. If you receive this piece of salmon n i g i r i in gold, if you are the lucky winner, $100 gift certificate. From Restaurant Supply. Thank you so much to Restaurant Supply for providing not only this sushi kit, but also these beautiful sushi nigiri collectibles. Good luck to all of you. All right. There you go, guys. Good luck to you. And the fish. fish. What you get inside? Becca f r o s salmon, yellowfin tuna, and crab sticks. So that's it.、You、wrap it up twice, squeeze all the air out, and now you have a protected m a k i s u All the inside out rolls you want to do with this. Delicious b e c k e r f r o s t salmon. Salmon that we've been using for eight years plus. So one side is longer than the other. That's the side you want to fold together. The first roll you're going to make is this a basic California roll? This should be your first roll, right? In any、yes. kind of a sushi party. Okay, roll s on. Very simple. Just take the full sheet of nori, cut it in half, use the shiny side down so the rice is going to be sticking to the rough side. Keep your hands a little bit moist. Don't keep it too moist because then the seaweed will shrivel up. So that's the hard part. I find that using gloves is actually very easy instead of using bare hands. Get up a stick. Yep. Some sushi restaurants, they will take this piece of kanikama and use half of it. They're so cheap. <laughs> so when you guys go get it, you next. <laughs> that's, a, that's a food cost of ours. Food cost, yeah. That's a cheap owner. t o m p put the whole、fair. stick in there. Put two <laughs> sticks. Come on. It has to be fair, you know? It's got to look nice. When Hiro cuts it in half, you're going to see how nice it looks in the different pieces. What a big difference. l o o k really nice with a full piece. Look how nice this California looks. 
nice big piece of crab meat as well as a nice piece of avocado okay after the basic roll which is that california roll here's going to do something called a spicy crazy salmon roll not that difficult to make either See what's up. So the fish does come frozen, of course. There is some water content in here. Always use a good quality paper towel to absorb as much moisture as you can. Now you're going to put this spicy salmon on the top, on the top here, right. And why it makes this difficult is because once you put it on the top, you have to wrap it in plastic and then cut through it. So if your knife isn't sharp, you're going to push the spicy salmon all over the place. So you need to have a very sharp knife when you're cutting. Now we're going to use a makisu without any wrapping because if you use plastic on plastic it's going to stick. So this way there's no plastic on this one. Usually use this to make teka rolls or any roll that's got the seaweed on the outside. In this case we're just going to use it to shape it up. And you see Hero's actually squeezing on the bottom not so much on the top. So when you cut it again hopefully you can cut through it. He made a comment that this is just done so fresh sometimes if you keep it in the fridge for a few hours it's more much easier, easier right mm -hmm. okay you see how his knife skills didn't even knife is so sharp the topping didn't even barely moved Okay, there you go. It's still in shape. Still in shape. If you guys can make this roll, it is amazing. Especially with Packer Fall Salmon. You guys will love it. Look inside there. Little tempura flakes. Here you go, the crazy salmon roll. I can't wait to try this one. Okay, now we're going to move up to the hard roll, more difficult roll, and that's a rainbow roll. Why? Again, probably cutting it, you know? For me, this is kind of like if you don't get the pieces in the right place, it looks sloppy when you cut it, and you'll see what I'm talking about very soon. Rainbow roll is just a California roll with slices of fish on top and slices of avocado in between. Zero just wet the cutting board with a damp towel just so when he puts a roll down it's not going to stick to it. You notice that in all the videos that he creates all those different rolls he does that step. So how many slices of each Hero? I'm going to do two each. Try two, two each. each. Okay and of course these have to be very thinly sliced. Maybe I can I can put uh, one more fish too. Let's do. I can do a little bit more. Let's do another piece, yeah. Yeah, one more tuna pieces. Okay. You 
See, if it's too thick, they're not going to lay low, lay down like that. You see how it kind of curves around? I think I'm going to add to avocado in the between. There's like a little sliver of avocado, not too thick. Show you on this side what it looks like before he rolls it up. And using the makisu without any plastic. Again, plastic does not go with plastic in this case. Kind of firm it up. Now, why does it make it difficult? If your knife isn't sharp, it's going to move all the fish and avocado all over the place. It's not going to look good. Sometimes people will take the makisu and shape it up again. Rainbow row. Looking good, looking good. All right, so this is the harder roll. But next hero, we're gonna do the high, high, high level roll. <laughs> Actually, it's not that difficult to a, a good sushi chef. What hero's gonna make next is very, very simple. Okay, now you're gonna do the Naruto Maki Naruto. roll. What's the key hero when you make the Naruto Maki roll? Are you going to set up the all the same size okay. with the club stick? Okay. Look at this. All right, beautiful Naruto Maki here we just made. Here's how it looks great, can't wait to try it. Thank you. We are doing a very, very popular dish that was at Novi, the crunchy crab salad. After you made it, so many people came up with it too and just kind of copied what we sold in the restaurant. Mm. But now this is a bonus after four amazing rolls. Show us what to do, Hero. Okay, so I'm gonna use a eight piece of the crab stick. Okay. Of course, you can use less if you want. Eight is a good number, right? Yes, that's why I, I choose eight piece. Means wealth, wealthy or wealthy and a fortune. Fortune, yeah, so more than fortune, right? So cut it in half. Yeah, then uh, basically everything you need to you need to break. Just break up, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to add to the sriracha and the mayonnaise. Okay. So first, I'm gonna do a uh, one. Pocket of the sriracha and one mayo. 
Maybe I want to add a little bit more. Let's see. Let's go one more mile. Yeah, we need one more sriracha, you think? You like a spicy, eh? Yeah, let's add. Okay. So two and two. Two and two. And now, tempera flakes. Tempura flakes. Hero made these earlier. Not difficult to make. We've done a video on how to make this before. And a little bit of scallion. This is such a popular, popular dish. Probably one of the top appetizers we had, huh? In the restaurant. Yeah, we was selling very good. This one. And I'm going to add the sushi sauce. So there we are, guys. Beautiful, quick salad Hero did. Hero, congratulations on your own sushi kit. Can't wait to see what you guys make out of this kit. Of course, you can make something like this. Beautiful, crazy salmon roll. Of course, we have our classic California roll. Classic rainbow roll, a delicious appetizer, the crunchy crab salad, and the Naruto roll. One thing I want to mention, this wasabi comes with a kit made by SB. First ingredient, take a look at that, wasabi. So it's not horseradish. It's hard to find, but you can get it included in the kit. Hirosan, enjoy. I can't wait to try. Can I get some wasabi too, Hiro? Sure. I want to thank our friends over at Restaurant Supply for putting everything together. Their team did phenomenal. Been working on this kit for quite some time, I think over a year. Finally, after everyone's hard work, Hirosan has his own sushi kit. Okay, Hirosan, what are you going to try first? Uh, California. Yeah, let's do the California, right? First. How's it? Mm. One thing I want to say is California rolls really just should be avocado and crab stick. A lot of people adding cucumber to it changes the whole texture. This is supposed to be nice and rich. It's so smooth. Just try it like this. Don't put the cucumber in there. And I do enjoy cucumber. I just don't like it inside the California roll. That flavor mm -hmm. reminds me when I was in college. <laughs> so good. All right, Hero, what's the next one you want to try? Next one, I go with this one. Crazy salmon roll. Mm. Ah, I love this roll. Just ingredients. Back of our salmon is the best salmon. We love it. We've been using it for so long again. Now it's in Hero's Sushi Kit. You guys can have it for the first time. Never tried it before. Mm. How's it, Hero? Crunchy. Crunchy, right? Mm hmm. That's really good. Mm hmm. Mm. I haven't wow. eaten this one for a long time. Let me tell you something. Such a plain roll. You have the salmon and avocado. That alone could be your favorite roll. Add a little spicy salmon on top. Tempura flakes. Give a little extra texture. Wow. Amazing. That's probably going to be my favorite roll here. Okay. Should we move on to the... I'm going to go with the... Rainbow, right? Rainbow. Okay. I'm going to take with the center. Okay. Because I have avocado and tuna here. Right? Okay. This one. That's not bad. <laughs> avocado. With the salmon and avocado. Perfectly nice cuts. Mm. Avocado plus. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. That's a great roll. Let's move it to the Naruto roll or you want to try the crunchy crab salad? Go with the crunchy crab salad. Okay. Super popular dish again at the restaurant. You enjoy here? Okay.
How's it? Mm. I like um, this spicy mayo and the sushi sauce combination. Yeah, mm. great combo. Take a look. That flavor reminds me of the Novi days. Mm. <laughs> you know? Really. So good. And I love the tempura flakes. I think you need the tempura flakes in there. Give it a little texture, a little crunchiness in it. Really, yeah. really nice. Offsets everything else. All right. And the final, Naruto roll. Naruto. Enjoy. Mm. How's it? A lot of crunch in your mouth, I hear. That's what I hear. <laughs> yeah, cucumber. Cucumber, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hope you guys be able to try this sushi kit. Information down below in the description mm. box. Good luck. Get the signed piece by Hero, collector's piece. Every month, I think I'm going to release a different one. So, you guys, good luck and hope you can try it and enjoy it. Mm. Thank you all for yeah. your support. Thank you very much.